Welcome back, ladies, to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. And today's title is Three Tips on How to Conquer the Weight Loss Self Doubts. But I'm interviewing Jenny, and she is one of our Booty Bands members. And she did not think that she would go below a size eight. And now she's at a size four. And her journey is so inspiring. I had to bring her on today. Welcome, Jenny, to the podcast. I mean, I did not like what I saw on the mirror. I was depressed. <laughs> I would put clothes on and I mean, I did not buy new clothes for such a long time because like, I mean, I would go shopping I'd put clothes on and I just kind of just be disgusted. But I was kind of at a point where I didn't care enough to, uh, to do anything. And uh, I don't know what clicked. Maybe I saw my, my son kind of following and uh, I wanted to be better. I guess I wanted to be a better like role model. That's beautiful. Thanks for sharing that. Sounds like your boy's a teenager, right? So yes. <laughs> teenagers coming up, hey, like they're looking at what you're doing. You really are setting an example. And so I think that is definitely a wake up call to a lot of people that are listening right now. So thank you for sharing that. I've struggled with my weight for many, many years. I go up and down, up and down, up and down. I always told myself, like, don't exercise at night. Everyone says exercise is best in the morning. And then I think it was one of your challenges. And they started at like eight at night. Well, here, it started eight at night here. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh, okay, I could do that. <laughs> I work long hours. I go straight into my workout clothes because if I sit I will fall asleep um but I started exercising at night I started walking around I have a park that's like two blocks away from me so I started walking around the park um I started running and I felt like I was failing at running because I could barely run my one friend uh was just like just do what you can you know and I was like oh I kept like like I had to be perfect (laughs) like I had to be a good runner and it's you don't. I had all these, like, you have to do things in a certain way. And I, um, I started letting go of those things and, um, started noticing a difference. I started really liking exercising. Like I love that challenge. And I just started noticing like a difference in my body too. Like I felt better at work because I'm on the floor a lot, like getting up and down with the animals. And I noticed that I noticed a difference there. I noticed a difference, like going up the stairs. I'm like, Oh, I'm not out of breath anymore. Let's go. I liked what you were talking about as far as you, uh, this perfectionism way where you thought it kind of had to be this one way. So you brought up a few of them. It's just like amazing to me, like all these things. I never thought I would go below a size eight. I thought like my hips, nope, never going to happen. I'm a size four right now. I'm wearing extra small in my scrubs. I never thought that that would be a thing. Like it's insane to me what I'm wearing now like I just and how long I told myself it was never gonna happen like I told myself that a lot and what we realize is when we keep telling ourselves that you know our thoughts become our reality and why we stay stuck in that but then you started breaking through these like one-way beliefs and you were like well that's possible I can do this I can do And so it's interesting how you started kind of chiseling away that perfectionism way of thinking. Um, You mentioned here in your post that um, you ended up seeing an ad for booty bands. Booty bands and barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. Yeah, so I mean, I've seen them for a couple of years now and then I I don't even know when I first ordered the bands, Um, but I had just the resistant bands, uh, not the long bands. And um I just never I never did them you know it's like oh that looks good (laughs) and then I never did it and so I guess I was like on Facebook and like it popped up again and I'm like you know I have those like why don't I try something and I did I think a challenge was coming up and um so I like I ordered the dumbbells the barbells the long I like ordered everything I love the colors. Like they're very bright. <laughs> I had so much fun doing the the challenges and I sometimes I felt like I was going to die, but it was like a good feeling and I often wonder what my neighbors downstairs think because sometimes I'm like ah! 
I enjoy doing the videos and like when the challenge, when I'm not doing a challenge, like I'll pick different uh, videos here and there. The protein powder is yummy. <laughs> like it's so good. I never thought like, oh, eating protein, like after a workout or drinking pro a protein shake after a workout. Like I just had so many things that like, I would tell myself like, oh no. And just like watching and like listening to the things that you say in between the exercises. Um, I'm just like, oh, okay. That, okay. That makes sense. And so I started doing them and I did notice, I just noticed a difference. You, uh, you mentioned here, what you love about booty bands is how real it is. Because again, it goes back to me, like wanting to do everything, I guess, correctly and, and perfect. And, um, so I would want to do the exercises and I'm trying hard and I'm just like, my body is like, <gasps> like just so sore. And, and you're like, Oh, you feel that burn. I'm like, Oh my God. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, and it's like, sometimes you say stuff that like is literally going through my head. And so then I just like, I burst out laughing, like in the middle of my workout. Um, I remember once like my son came out and he was like, what's so funny. I'm like, it's just, it's fine. Just, <laughs> everything's fine <laughs> but um yeah it's not like that uh hardcore I mean it is hardcore but it's not like the oh, stay focused and <laughs> you know you gotta do this and it's just more uh I guess personable mm. I, don't know. Yeah. I can relate more to it that's awesome so it really I mean going back to this perfectionism thing it sounds like before when you were 200 pounds about a year ago and the struggle of being perfect has kind of made it so that this bridge between the healthy you was just so far away because you had these restrictions of, I had to work out only in the morning. And if I'm not a good runner, then I shouldn't run or uh, protein. I don't know how to use it. So I'm just not going to use it. You know, it sounds like there was kind of a lot of these perfectionism ways of thinking. Would you say that that was kind of almost breaking through that perfectionism that allowed you to kind of be in this new size four and ecstatic of where you're at now? In the beginning, it was, I was forcing myself to just say, forget it. Like, it doesn't matter what you used to think, like you're doing something. It's better than what you were doing, which was nothing. So even if you're running a quarter of a mile and then your heart feels like it's about to pop out of its chest, like you stop, it's still more than you did before because I was doing absolutely not, I was just eating before um and I did have like I, I did have a you know people encouraging me as well and that was also uh that was helpful as well that's great so what would you tell yourself if you were to basically go back in time and you could time travel back to a year ago of yourself that you were stuck in 200 pounds and you just had these ways of perfectionism thinking, what would you go back and tell yourself? I wish I would have just let go of that perfectionism earlier, <laughs> um, but I finally did. Um, I mean, I still struggle with it, <laughs> um, but uh, I would say, yeah, it's it's getting easier to let go of those things, but I, I guess I would tell myself like, like let go of them sooner. Let's say somebody is listening right now and they're 200 or 300 pounds right now and they don't know how to break through. And so if you could speak to them right now, what would you say to them? I would say, just do it. Like let go of whatever fear you have or doubts that you have and just do it because anything you do is better than doing nothing and soon you will feel that difference and it'll just become part of your life and I, you'll feel an improvement <laughs> oh I love that thanks for sharing that um so what fear or doubt did you have maybe at the beginning of your journey um that I was gonna give up uh that I would get to a certain point and just uh, give up. Cause I have, I've, I mean, I've never 
lost this much weight, <laughs> but like I've lost weight, gone back up, lost weight, came back up. Um, and I guess I, I was afraid and probably still, yes, that fear is still somewhere inside of me um, that I'm going to um, just stop. Now I feel like I have a better, I guess, foundation. Um, I, I'm doing more. I'm not just dieting. Like I'm, I'm, you, I'm doing two things. Like, um, you, you know, how you say it's like important. They go together, diet and exercise go together. And, um, and it's true eating healthier, but knowing that I'm also working out, like keeps me eating healthier and eating healthier keeps me exercising. Like, it's just, it goes hand in hand. Like it's definitely different than, the other times that I have tried to, to lose weight. And now it's not so much losing weight. It's more just uh, staying fit and healthy. Um, for anybody that has, is listening and they are struggling with their weight, what you would tell them that maybe we haven't said so far yet? Letting go of your doubts and just, I guess, caring more about yourself. Like you are worth it. Um, you will feel a difference. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks for your time today, Jenny. You had a beautiful post inside of that Facebook group and just wanted to bring you on here because I think you were absolutely making an impact, not only for your life, but for your kids' lives and also for the lives that are in the members of, of um, reading that post and, and just now this podcast. What you are doing is creating a ripple and a domino effect of the, not only yourself, but the others that surround you. And I just wanted to commend you personally and just say thank you for being a part of the community. We actually have many women that have been inspired and I know that this podcast will inspire so much more. So thank you for coming on today. Thank you. Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self and that's why we do these weekly so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells where you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon and I'll see you in the workouts.